What's up, guys? We're glad that you're back. And tonight, we are going to be talking with my daughter, Olivia. Hi. Olivia is our youngest daughter. And Olivia, a birthday's coming up pretty soon, right? Next week. And you are going to be how old? Twelve. Twelve. That's right. And we are going to be talking about places where each type goes shopping. Like what stores and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you like shopping? What it are, depends. What are some of your favorite stores to shop in? <laughs> Goodwill. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> I like Old Navy, Kohl's, that's what, like it. Now, okay, Goodwill's a little weird, so a lot of people don't like Goodwill. What makes you like Goodwill? Cheap and dirty, man. <laughs> <laughs> she's Who like, cares? <laughs> yeah, she's like her grandma, cheap and dirty. Okay, all right, you can get a lot of good deals there, right? Sometimes you can get nicer clothes there. Seriously, this shirt, Goodwill. These pants, Goodwill. Okay. It's fine, yeah. right? She says it like it is. Okay. Yeah. Now, for a long time, you identified as an eight, and it's because you've got sort of a feisty spirit. Yeah. But I think recently, we've come to the conclusion that maybe you're a six, mm -hmm. right? But the counterphobic six. Yeah. Which, the counterphobic six is the six that's ready to fight, fight back. You. <laughs> right. So there's three different kinds of sixes. One that makes everybody their friends and stays safe by keeping everybody their friends. <laughs> and you've that's not been your, uh, your your way of dealing with it, huh? Okay. No. And then the other six is the one that, that kind of follows all the rules and says, you know, if, if I follow all the rules, I'll be okay. But then the counterphobic six is the one that says, I feel fear, but I'm going to lean Shove in. Shove it down. It's not for me. <laughs> I'm going to lean in and I'm going to take action and I'm going to be okay. So you kind of like strengthen yourself. Act to, rough and tough. Yeah, but inside sometimes there's all those fears and things. Ah. <laughs> there's just a little tiny baby girl inside. Right. Okay, so let's talk about <clears throat> the stores that people shop at according to their Enneagram mm -hmm. type. So what stores come to your mind when you think about a one? A one is that person that likes to do everything the right way, wants to be good, they're no nonsense. What stores come to your mind? I would think Lowe's. That would be my first thought is Lowe's just That's... because what would you not be able to get there? You can fix everything you need. You can buy whatever you want. Yeah. Seems like a good store for one. Now, I'm a seven, and sometimes when I go into Lowe's, I have to admit, I'm a little bit out of my out of my comfort zone. Have you ever seen a toddler throw a fit? That's basically what he looks like when he has to go to Lowe's. <laughs> I look around at all this stuff, and I'm like, man, He's like, good. I'm so scared. No! It looks great, but I'm not sure what to do with all those things yeah. there. Yeah, it's okay. We still love you. When I fix stuff, I, I usually have to then pay somebody to come and repair it. So He tried to fix the dryer that... No, yeah. yeah, that didn't work. Turns out you need more than a hammer. <laughs> and duct tape. More than duct tape. If you can't fix it with... Who knew? If you can't fix it with duct tape, then what is it here for? Really? Don't know. Then you need to call a professional. Yeah. A professional. Professional. Okay, so a one, Lowe's, Home Depot, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Boring. All right, so what about a two? The two is the caregiver. It's the helper, so that's the nurturing soul. Where would a two like to go shopping? Really, wherever they can find everything they need for their family and everyone else's family. So... Well, that'd be Lowe's then, right? Huh? So it's different. I would think... Probably Walmart or Target or Publix or something where they can buy all the stuff to make their pie and give it to their neighbors. and. Because that's what twos do. They bake pies and give them to their neighbors. Yeah, come so on, if Mom. You're, if you're a two and you're not baking a pie right now, we got to question your, your yep. uh, contribution to society. Yes, it's true. So, I need pie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how about... Um, <clears throat> You're, you're, what you're saying is places where people can go get everything they need, not spend a lot of time, and then yeah. come home and take care of their family. Yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe That's what I would think. Okay. Maybe taking their grandkids to Build-A-Bear? They're nine grandkids, because <laughs> what's better than a stuffed animal? For a nine? Yes. Like, you get to sleep with it. You just sleep and sleep. And do nothing. <laughs> what does a stuffed animal do? I don't know. Ask the nine. They might know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So how about a three? This is the achiever. This is the person that wants to set goals and get it done. And they want to do it in a big way. And so where are they shopping? I would say Dick's Sporting Goods. Okay. Because where else would you go to get weights and things to make you look great? Mm. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I should probably lift some weights. <laughs> yeah. Be, be a man. <laughs> be a man. It's fine. We still love you. Yeah. Okay. So, like, sporting goods. Yeah. Athletics. Yeah. They're going to get running shoes and those ankle weights. Yeah. But not every three is like that. It depends right. on the three. It depends how they've been raised. Right. And how have you been raised? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we got to edit this. Edit, edit. <laughs> Hit the edit button. Okay, so you know what I was thinking about for threes? What about like Office Depot? You know, they go in there and they get all their Best stuff. Best Buy and that kind of thing? Well, yeah, maybe Best Buy. But I'm thinking Office Depot. Like, this person is business, all business. They got that leather suitcase. Yeah. You know, and, and they've got the passing out cards. And they've got a nice desk and a big... The new and improved. Office chair. Yeah. Lots of file cabinets with important papers. Pish posh. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I was thinking. Maybe something like that. Okay, here's a tough one. Where's a four go shopping? Four, remember, is the individualist. This person sometimes feels like they don't fit in. They feel like they're kind of left behind or left out. They they kind of go in a different direction I sometimes. Thought of a good place. Okay, where? If they, like an art gallery or something, where they can buy a new painting or where they... Some store that you've never heard of, probably. Like, where they can buy feather earrings and uh, friendship bracelets and weird clothes that no one's ever seen before. Yeah. Okay. Like, sometimes those niche or niche mm -hmm. stores, like when we were in St. Augustine. Yeah, like St. Augustine stores, yeah. There was that store that had, like, uh, everything just kind of looked... A different. Little, a little different, yeah. Yeah. But it was nice. Nice clothes. You saw a lot of clothes in there you'd like. Yeah. But maybe one day they'll be at Goodwill. <laughs> It's true. It's true. It's Maybe one day somebody will donate those clothes and then you'll you find them. You can get more stuff at Goodwill for cheaper than if you went somewhere else. We raised her right. We so homeschooled and Goodwill. Yep. Raised her right. Yep. Saving money. <laughs> okay, so. What I was, can I say? I'm a Goodwill kind of kid. Yeah, oh, well, I think when you were talking about the art thing, how about like um, Michael's? Like crafts, like maybe you can buy your easel and your paints, and you maybe that maybe a lot of four people find ways to express themselves yeah. in art, and I don't know, do they write calligraphy? I don't know. I'm not a four. Why are you asking me? I don't know. Well, she was an eight. Now she's a six. Maybe in a couple months she'll go yeah. to be a four. So just wait. It depends for it. what time of day it is. Right. Okay. So what about a five? You have a brother that's a five. A five is the investigator. This is the person that wants to get all the information. No nonsense. They'll interrupt you and say, actually, and they'll correct your facts. What do you think a five Probably would? a museum store. <laughs> a museum Where they store. can buy the history that they want. They can buy whatever a five wants. So, like, remember when you go into those museum stores and they have, like, astronaut ice cream? <laughs> Or like those rock bins with all the different geodes and all those different kinds of rocks in there and everything. And when you say, hey, look, Mom, I found an amethyst. Actually, Actually that's a ding that's a, dong dong dong. That's, ah. That is obsidian. Obsidian is found at... <laughs> no, they're being helpful. Don't you appreciate it when your brother corrects you and gives you the right information? I love it. It's great. <laughs> Everything that I could possibly want. Okay, so fives, the only place you can go shopping is museum stores. That's the only place, yeah. <laughs> I think they probably like computer stores or Best Buy. Yeah. Technology. They probably, like, uh, is there any stores that are, like, something in particular, like, that you can learn about? Books, uh, what is it called? Oh, yeah. Barnes & Noble. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably good. the uh, library. She just said, is there any stores where you can learn something about? So she doesn't get out very often. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so Barnes & Noble, museum stores. Man, you got all kinds of options here. Oh, I know a good store, Radio Shack. Now all you got to do is go back in time. What's which... Radio Shack? <laughs> it's right next to Sears. <laughs> in Kmart. I'm Corn Fusion. <laughs> in Kmart. So every five is probably building a time machine anyway. So they can get in their time machine, they can go back to... Whether it's made out of foil or... They go, back, go back to 1985, and then go to Radio Shack. And then they I can get all those little... Is. I guess I'll never know. <laughs> I'm stupid. What can I say? All right, so what about the six? 
Where would you want to go shopping? Where's the six want to go shopping? Sixes, remember, we talked about they, they often envision the worst case scenario. So they like to plan ahead and they like to be safe and they like to do all they can do to, to make sure that everything's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. they, like, they, they care about community and protecting their family. And where do you think a six is going to go shopping? Um, personally, I know I'm a child, so I don't really know anything and I'm stupid. But really anywhere everyone else goes. If everyone's going to, I don't know, H&M, that's where I want to go. If everyone's going to name it, that's Victoria's Secret? <laughs> bath and Body Works? Ooh, yeah, yes. I like both. Because you don't want to smell bad because everybody will turn against you if you smell bad. I hate it when people smell. If you smell bad, take a shower right now. Please. Please. Take a shower. You're gross. It's the okay? least you can do. It's really not that hard. At the most, it'll take you 30 minutes. And this, that's... This right here can save so much problems in life. Why is it that middle school boys just can't know this? Because they're disgusting. I don't understand. Well, I'm glad you feel like Cause that. Because they want to be smell exactly like the garbage can in a litter box. Apparently. It repels all the girls away yes, from them. Yes, it does. It's their superpower. And I'm thinking of a few people in particular, but... <laughs> Mention no names. I know. Mention no names. <laughs> okay, this is a family video. We don't want to hurt family anybody's friendly. feelings. Family friendly. We don't want to hurt nobody's feelings now. Okay, so the seven. Party City. <laughs> I like it. Dollar General. Dollar General. This is what came to my mind. Party City, I like that. That's good because sevens are always wanting to. Where up. can you buy a sombrero? That's well, where I'd go for you. Mexico. I, let's go. Let's go. Let's get on a plane. We can you be there understand. tomorrow. See, sevens out there, tell me the truth. Aren't you always ready to get in a van and just like go to Mexico and just drive? Let's. If we had five hundred dollars in a van, we'd be set for like a month. Just get in the van. Let's go. Let's go. How much yeah, fun? Yeah. Always man. ready for an adventure. I would love to do that, but things are going to cost more money than that, and you could, like, die in a car accident or something. Yeah. Well, as long as you bring your deodorant, you'll be all right. <laughs> Wear deodorant! <laughs> I don't care if you're seven. Wear it. Okay, so the seven... You know, I think that a lot of sevens would probably go to the sports store, too, and Best Buy, and anything that glitters, and anything that's shiny, and anything that's sparkling. A seven, that I would think Claire's. Not you, because you're a man, but I've, it's I've glittery, been, it's shiny. I've been to Claire's it's before. It's bedazzled. I have, I have four daughters, so I've been to Claire's before. And there's nothing for me to look at, unless I want a unicorn headband. Every time we go in there, they're like, can I help you find something? And he's like, do you have anything glittery? I'm like, can you help me find my daughter and let's get out of here. <laughs> it's true. We got to get to Party City. We got to get to the dollar store. Ulta. That you love Ulta. Yeah, because it smells Cause good. Perfume. It smells good. Because people that are good wear nice cologne because you don't want to smell like a litter box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, how about the eight? Oh, we got an eight. Oh, in our another family. place for a seven. What? A Christmas store. Yes. I like that. You know what? I'm a, I'm a seven and my wife is a two. Christmas, that's the perfect holiday for both of us. I get all the presents and she gets to wrap them. She gets to make food. And I get to eat it. See? She, it's a great holiday for the both of us. You're perfect together. What can I say? Yeah. She loves Christmas because everybody comes together and everybody gets... And then... Her favorite part of Christmas is my least favorite part of Christmas. Oh, the family's coming? <laughs> i got to be careful who I share this video to. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Now the truth comes out. All right, the eight. Dun, dun, dun. We have an eight in our family, right? So, uh, uh, eights. They're the kind of people that are going to give it right back to you. You insult mm -hmm. them, you get two insults back. Punch, you buy one. Uh, you get one free. You get one for free, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> All right, so where does the eight want to go when they go shopping? Probably Goodwill. It's cheap and dirty. You get what you want and you leave and you're great. You're and good. nobody has to be nice because it's Goodwill. It's Goodwill. You, you sure you're not an eight? I didn't say I wasn't. And so at Goodwill, they're like, uh, uh, you don't have to be nice, right? Because everything's used. It all smells like laundry soap and body odor. 
Yeah, it's true. All right, so we'll tell Grace she can only go shopping at Goodwill. Yep, that's the only place. Sorry, nowhere else. All right, how about the number nine? Good old nine. Nines sometimes. Build a bear. <laughs> nine sometimes. Uh, they're known to sort of go to sleep to what they want in life. And so sometimes life sort of passes them by. They want to get along. They want to make everybody happy. They want to keep the peace. Nines are great people. They're great. Absolutely. So where do they where do they want to go shopping? Well, like I said, build a bear. The mattress. Where? The mattress store. That's. Mattress City. <clears throat> That's. Yep. Yep. That's. You can't beat it. Okay. Anywhere else? Uh, what's that one store where you can buy pillows? Uh, <laughs> the pillow store. I know where nines go. You know, in the middle of the mall, mm -hmm. when all the people go shopping in the middle, there's all and those there's chairs. And there's that pillow section. No, there's all those chairs with all those old guys <laughs> sleeping in the chairs. The massage chairs. Yeah, the Where massage the root chairs. beer right next to it, their drink, they got everything they need. They're set. Their family's out shopping, but they're good. They're in their... And if Happy they, place. And if they want to do something exciting, they can go over to the machine, put a dollar in, push a button, and maybe they'll win. Boom, an, soda. I want an iPod. <laughs> From 1998. <laughs> I think that's about as good as it gets. All right, so was there any other stores I was thinking? What about the pet store? Who wants to shop at the pet store? Six. Okay. Or two. Yeah. Or two, yeah. Because... I make everyone feel comfortable, even my animals, like where I live. That's two. a two? Okay. The six, I don't know, because that's where everyone else goes to get their pet stuff. Well, because uh, animals are a good companion, right? Yeah. You got to take care They'll of them. They'll keep you safe. They love you. Okay. They won't abandon you. What about the auto parts store? A one? A six? Yeah. I understand that. I hate the auto parts store. He hates it. He cries, actually. It's not as bad as Lowe's, though. <laughs> Is there any other sevens out there that don't mind going to Lowe's? Oh, it's the worst. It's All his right. biggest nightmare. Okay, well, good. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Olivia. It's been awesome. Glad to have you on the team. Thank I'm you. I'm sure we'll make a lot more videos together. You guys, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. You can contact me. The information is in the description below. He's a good friend, okay? <laughs> <laughs> more of a friend than a parent, right? <laughs> Mom's the parent. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> I think we better turn this off before I get into more trouble. All right. So, uh, as always, guys, be present to life. Don't miss what's right in front of you. Always looking for something else. Don't always, go to sleep to life. Always upset with what is. Be present to life. Be there for those that you love. Be, be more compassionate with yourself and with the people in your family. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining Bye. us. Bye.